Are you finding bass clef notes hard to read? Hi, I'm Jaser, and here is a video on how to read bass clef notes quickly. Let's get into it. So this is a video request by KMS Linz. Thank you for the question. KMS Linz asks, how can you read bass clef notes better? Now, I actually have a really quick answer for this question. I get asked this a lot from students and parents. Uh, bass clef notes, uh, it tends to be one that people are not so good at because people often relate better to the treble clef because the treble clef often has the melody. So um, when you're looking at a piece of music, you're kind of tracing the melody as you listen to it. Uh, and the left hand just seems to be this thing that gets a bit lost or kind of uh, hidden from the typical ear out there. Uh, and so that's why people generally are not so good at reading bass clef because they see music in terms of the treble clef, the melody. Now, do you see as you were listening to that melody, you were probably tracing the melody line as opposed to the bass line. And so just through like exposing yourself so much more to the treble clef as opposed to the bass clef, well, guess what? You're automatically gonna be better at reading the treble clef as opposed to the bass clef. So the solution is to read bass clefs a lot, like a lot. If you wanna get good at something, you gotta do it a lot. Now, having said that, there are three resources that I personally use uh, to improve my bass clef sight reading. And also for a lot of my students as well, I use this to help them to get better at sight reading the bass clef notes. And here are the three things. So the first thing would be these flashcards that you see here. So these are the Alfred's flashcards. Uh, and you'll see here that on one side of the card, it will be a note. And uh, on the other side of the card, it actually tells you what note it is and where on the piano you play this one. Uh, so I find this is a really helpful tool just for testing yourself or testing, getting someone else to test you. So look at what this note is, have a guess, and turn it around to know what it is. The second resource I use is this music note teacher. Uh, and what you see here is uh, this kind of a laminated piece of um, treble clef and bass clef and there is this note thingy that you can use uh, to slide up and down and what happens when you slide up and down is is on the other side there's a string that attaches both of them on both sides so that when you move uh, for example when you move from C to G this note also moves from C to G and so uh, long story short, what that means is you can test yourself on what notes you would like. So if I wanted to test myself on what that is, I will move the note to there, have a guess, I guess it's C, I turn it over, uh, it's on C. And if I want, okay, let's say, what note is this one? Turn it over, and you get, you get it on the A. And the third resource that I use is this Hal Leonard Student Keyboard Guide. Uh, this is a really cool piece, a uh, long sheet of the, the, basically the keyboard layout. So what I do is I actually slot this behind my piano like this. Yep, and it really helps my student to know which notes are which notes. Let me show you just close up what that looks like. So as you'll see here, that the notes correlate with the piano notes themselves. So this C here is matched up with that C and you know that C there is matched up with this C. So this is just a really handy tool uh, uh, when, when you're sight reading any piece or just generally playing any piece to have a really quick reference. So let's say I'm not very sure what this note is over here. I see this note is on the bottom space. I will just come down here and find it on this bottom space of the bass clef and that would be an A. And I also want to add as well, if you don't already know this, uh, the four spaces in the bass clef are A, C, E, G from bottom to top. And that actually works out nicely to all cows eat grass. Just a nice little tool to remember what notes are in between these lines. So there you go, those were some ideas that I have for you to help you to improve your bass clef sight reading. The answer is actually quite simple. Just play a ton.
just play a ton. My challenge to you is to sight read five pieces a day, just focusing on the left hand every single day and watch how your bass clef reading will improve. My name is Jason. subscribe to my channel, ask me some questions, leave a comment. Remember to subscribe because I have lots of good piano tips coming out for you and I'll see you in the next video.